Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This one took me a bunch of attempts and uh, I'm doing this in post commentary. <laughs> I'm also reading the directions here just to go over some stuff like this is a very important thing. If you forget, stop touching the screen. Very important. And also try and do things in one stroke if possible. But if you forget, do not try and guess because it'll actually make the bombs close in on you faster. And that will not make you happy. <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to be able to finish if you try it that way. It's just not that sort of game. You've got to have endurance like no one has ever had endurance before for a mini game. Well, okay, maybe not, but this, it really is a tough mini game, and it took me a bunch of attempts, and you see that I didn't really have a high score going on there, that's because I got kind of frustrated at times, just close out the game after an attempt, and, well, yeah, it doesn't save if you do that. <laughs> so this is pretty much the only score that's really gonna be recorded on there, but that's okay. All I need is an A rank, and to get an A rank, apparently, the threshold is 36,000 points. So, as you can tell at the rate we're getting points here, you really want to rake in the points in the early portions of this as best you possibly can, because the later ones are going to really, really be testing your patience, let's put it that way. Uh, but let's just focus on the easiness here of the early game. And uh, this, these panel tapping things, very, very quick, especially when they get up to six panels that you have to tap a little bit later on. So get ready to tap that like crazy. And you also notice that my cursor is uh, quite a bit smaller in this one. You're probably wondering why that is. That's because I actually have the window enlarged to two times the size so I could maximize my accuracy as much as possible because I was having too many miss slides and miss touches and yeah i just decided let's try this on two times we recorded in the same resolution and it, it came out well so this worked out well i wouldn't prefer having it like this because when things get really frantic it's hard to follow the cursor when it's that small but for this it's fine it's perfectly fine for this so i decided to go for this now about that post commentary thing that I mentioned, um, yeah, because I was getting frustrated with it, I decided I am just going to put all my focus into this game as best I possibly can without commentary or anything like that, and I'm just going to commentate it afterwards because this is a tough cookie of a game. <laughs> It really, truly is. And you've also probably noticed by now that there's a whole bunch of little Easter eggs in this level 3 version of the game here that you can come across. And uh, uh, I, I believe I mentioned before that there are 100, yes, 100 of these questions. And to get through them all, you really, really got to have that endurance that I was talking about, you know, the, the, like the conservation of uh, energy, preventing the bombs from getting closer to you any way that you possibly can. You really got to make sure, unless you're trying to go for this maximum score or whatever, but then again, that, that kind of uh, situation, you probably have all these memorized. <laughs> but even so, you probably can't memorize them to an extent because they sometimes start at different points and take different routes because some of these can be drawn different ways so yeah that's as i said a tough cookie of a mini game a lot of improvisation and you can't really do all that much memorization on it either i mean you just gotta do it do things as you go like try and memorize the patterns as they're drawn out but if if you forgot don't try to go further and guess because the bombs will close in on you, as I said. Like, see, I shouldn't have tried going further there. Because the bombs got a little bit closer there. But uh, otherwise, um, as long as you keep doing that, you should be fine most of the time. This is not a foolproof method, you know, stopping if you forget what you need to do. Because that's not going to get you the a rank score that you need if you do that for every single one because you got to have a certain amount of accuracy as well which is why i said to uh really nail the early game of these so that you can get as many points racked up 
uh, early on, then just kind of trickle in the points later on in the game. Uh, but as you can tell, these uh, panel touching ones getting a pretty dicey. <laughs> And they cut. They come up every ten rounds too, so it's not like uh, you can just like get by, you know, missing it on the last one. Like you know, all the other ones just only had the panel touching one on the last one. Oh no, no, this one makes you get consistent on these suckers. <laughs> and if you aren't fast enough to do it, you will never get that A rank. So yeah, get your Tucci hand touching those spots as quickly as you possibly can because they don't give you much time to touch them all, especially when there is six of them at a time. And uh, yeah, that's really all there is to say about the strategy of the minigame, other than, I guess, try and stay calm through the whole thing because if you're really jittery, that's probably not going to help you. <laughs> Let's get to this little guy here before the uh, finished portion of the drawing. It sort of looked like a uh, Puyo, you know, from Puyo Pop. Sort of, kind of, but there's something else that looks even more like a Puyo, uh, which we'll see later on. <laughs> and also, you'll notice that there's stuff from other Kirby games as well shown in here that you wouldn't see in the actual main, main game. And oh god, the blinking panels. This always, always, when I come across this, makes me sweat because... If those panels are in awkward positions, like the, like the last six or so aren't close together, it's very difficult to tap them accurately. Because, you know, you're rushing around the screen on, in time like that, and... Yeah, I'm... It... This took me a whole lot of practice to master. <laughs> I should say remaster. <laughs> but, as you can tell, or I should say, as you will be able to tell, this is entirely doable. As a matter of fact, I am only about 20,000, well actually less than 20,000 away from a victory. But, you gotta endure this quite a ways in. Um, and, as I said, the patterns for these get a lot more complicated as you go on. You're gonna, you're gonna start seeing some really mean ones soon enough after the uh, halfway point, so... Be prepared to rev up your mental game like pretty much nothing else in this game thus far, because remember, you're playing this minigame for a good 15-20 minutes at a time. <laughs> so, you gotta just keep going and going and going without stop. I mean, I guess you could pause, but that's probably not going to be that beneficial to you, if you ask me, because you kind of get into a rhythm of sorts once you really get the hang of this and you're like, no, I don't want to lose this, I don't want to lose what I'm doing here, I've got I've got the feel for things, let's not mess it up by pausing and then continuing later. <laughs> and you notice I'm doing the strategy of stopping when I forget right here, even though sometimes I go a little bit too far and then I get the minus 10 points and then the bombs close in a little bit more, but you, you have some leeway on that, as you can tell, because I've reached a halfway point, I still haven't taken a hit, but that doesn't mean I'm not sweating at this point anyway, because it's very, very easy to lose control of a game. <laughs> like, uh oh, here okay, they come! Oh, jeez, we made it! <laughs> 20,000! And we got ourselves a birdie. Oh, oh, come on, Pika Gam, focus. You can do this one, it's an easy one, it's just the perimeter of an eagle. Or hawk, kind of hard to tell, probably a hawk, actually. <laughs> Go, Sora! That was really easy for this point, but whatever. Just take your gift and run with it. <laughs> Even that one was pretty easy, actually. It was just like a couple loops. And uh, on this one, I kind of forgot which way the triangle went, but I stopped. And then I just let the path retrace itself just to show me where it is. And now we're going to get into some really weird stuff here. Just, you recognize the symbol? Do you recognize the symbol? It's the ant sign! <laughs> yeah, it's... Getting into some very, very awkward stuff that's very un Kirby like. <laughs> and this one is a really neat one. Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is? You probably can. Well, we're about to see it that it is the Hell logo. Well, sort of, kind of. <laughs> it's actually not the Hell logo in specific. The Hell logo is that dog on a nest type thing, and there's there's one of those in here somewhere as well. <laughs> um, this one looks like it's an explosion, 
but as you draw more into it, then you can tell what it's gonna be. It's Krakko! Yup! And, uh, oh, this one is a nasty one. <laughs> Namely because of that upper right corner there, they want you to not finish the center before you do that corner, and you cannot, like, do things your own way. You must follow the track that Paint Roller set out for you. This is another nasty one because of how close the nodes are together, plus it's kind of hard to memorize it as you go because there's so many of the dang nodes, but, uh... With practice and stopping to make it so that you can check the line, uh, you will be able to make it. So here I am at question 60. 60 for 60. No health lost. Nothing exploding on me. Yet. Oh boy, here they come. It's gonna be close. They're much faster than Kirby, but I made it. <laughs> That's a little bit too close for comforts, but I made it. And my endurance prevails, I guess you can say. <laughs> um, and a lot of these have multi-steps, as you see now, like once you get past a certain point. So, it eventually... Why did I do that? <laughs> so it eventually gets to the, the thing where you have the same amount of time that the bombs are coming towards you. But you have to draw multiple drawings in the same drawing to finish a drawing. And that's pretty nasty stuff. <laughs> All right, come on, PK Gam. You got a one-stroker? Yeah! <laughs> it's been a while since I've had one of those. Uh, I think this one's not gonna. Yeah, I, I I forgot about that. I mean, forgot that one. It, got, it gets a little bit complicated the way it loops around. And some of these, as you can tell, don't really resemble the things you're drawing. <laughs> you're just kind of blocking out the edges of certain things, and then the game fills in details of uh, what you're apparently drawing. <laughs> But uh, that's, that's kind of like actual drawing in a way, if you think about it, because you get the big stuff, you know, set up first, and then you do the details after that. But in this case, you don't do the details, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and guess what year this game was released? <laughs> yeah, it's a little 2005 thing. And this one, this one you're going to find pretty interesting. Watch what happens here. I am going to end up taking a hit there, but I still managed to finish it and actually got the points for it. Yeah, that's something that you can do even if you take a hit, so do not give up. Always fight to the bitter end for points. <laughs> and there we go, not bad. Yeah, these are getting really, really intricate now. <laughs> so expect to, try, expect to stop a whole lot to uh, refresh yourself on where the line is if you can even remember the whole stroke in one round. Um, the tap linking panels is pretty much the same from six panels out, like when you get to the point where it, where it makes you touch six panels in a round, it's pretty much just the same, but it's still a lot of pressure to make sure that you don't take a hit. <laughs> because they really, really make you mash those stinkers fast. I mean, even if you... Uh, don't make it sometimes you will Probably have enough time for another shot or two at it But sometimes you won't sometimes you won't even have time to finish it because you didn't build up enough time Away from the bombs with previous rounds hence why I I am really focusing on uh, Spacing convert conservation between Kirby and the bombs basically um, because it's not really letting you with a lot of mistakes here. I mean, yeah, you can mistake make mistakes in your drawings, but the thing is you can't let the bombs catch up to you. You're just not gonna make it. <laughs> you've only got four hits to spare. Uh, well, technically you've only got three hits to spare, but you know, the fourth one will end up in your minigame attempt, but that, that's the thing. You gotta go through a hundred rounds with just four, and that's kind of ridiculous <laughs> but entirely possible as i'm showing you here um what's interesting to note is that even when you raise kirby's health it does not raise it in the sub games so yeah <laughs> so it would be very nice to have the extra health for this sort of thing but no they are not going to give you any breaks and they are going to give you the default Kirby health. Now this is a really cool one here. Uh, once I get through this, I just connect the dots like so, and it's a GameCube! 
Uh, this this one is horrible. This is just garbage. <laughs> this one I just didn't even bother trying to memorize more than the first couple of strokes because I I lost track about halfway and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do the safe method through this because this is this is just terrible. <laughs> but I made it before the bombs got to me. Not very quickly, but I made sure that they didn't get any closer than I could spare, I guess you could say. <laughs> because trying to do that all in one stroke or in the fewest amount of strokes, not really going to be uh, conductive, <laughs> I mean, conducive to victory. And oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, I made it! <laughs> that was ridiculously close. As I said, it gave me enough time. And that's all I needed. And we are getting close to the 36,000 mark. But we aren't... We aren't gonna stop there. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> We're gonna try and get as high of a score as we possibly can, just for kicks. But, uh, at this point, I was actually feeling pretty nervous. Because I was like, I wonder if there's enough left for me to actually reach 36,000. But I think that was just like the anxiety building up from playing this for so long because you can pretty much tell that uh, there's going to be enough uh, let in there even if you're relatively slow for the remaining rounds. I mean, there's 15 to go here and yeah, <laughs> it was just the whole thing of, yeah, it, it, the tension really builds up. And here's another one of those nasty formations where it really makes, yeah, see, I wanted to go to the outside and that's what the game wanted to mislead me with. But you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to finish the inside. I mean, you're supposed to do the inside and then do that last little tip at the top. And I think this structure here is something from Kirby's Air Ride, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know it offhand, like the name of it or whatnot, or if I'm, or what it is for sure. It's just the thing of that I I've seen it before, and I think it's from Kirby's Air Ride. <laughs> oh, geez, hurry up, finish the skull! <laughs> That's a pretty mean formation as well, because it has loops and all sorts of stuff there. Um, this house here also can be pretty mean, depending on how the lines are, you know, want to be traced. And I did it pretty decently there. Oh no, this one. Oh no, this one. This is another one that's really, really confusing. Even if you memorize the actual shape, there's so many ways to do said shape, and you can only do it one way, as per instruction of Paint Roller, that, uh, yeah, I didn't quite make it. <laughs> it was really close, though. I just had that one line at the bottom right corner there. <sighs> but here I am, 33,000 on question 90. Oh, boy, this is really, really tense to me at this point. <laughs> you could probably notice a little bit of extra shakiness in the mouse movements, but... I try my best to recompose myself because I know it's coming to the very, very end. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, I, I, what I'm, I'm, all I'm hoping for at this point is that I make it. <laughs> you know, that I, I, that I reach my goal of 36,000 because I've only got two health and making too many mistakes to make the bombs catch up. And here is the Poyo that I was talking about uh, earlier on in this, but it's not really a Poyo, it is, of course, King DDD. <laughs> um, I, there's, a, there's a Nightmare one coming up eventually, I don't know which one it was, but it actually requires five strokes, and I didn't manage to finish it, but it's coming up soon. But uh, yeah, um, if you come across the Nightmare one, and you will come across the Nightmare one because... Uh, um, you always have the same drawings in each of these, like in each of your, of your attempts, but they are randomized. So it's not like that you can avoid one that you have a weakness to just out of sheer luck in a run. Oh, no, 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 they make sure that the hardest ones are still in there. <laughs> and this is a double drawing here. This one's actually pretty easy, just basically perimeters. Oh, wait, it's a triple drawing, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's... Yep, that guy. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's like a bow. No, Pika Gam. <laughs> this is the nightmare one, okay. Yeah, see, it's... Uh, oh, 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 there's two. And then we go over to three. 
And then after this one, they'll make you draw a frame like around the entire border. But I didn't quite make it there because of my miss, yeah, my miss touches there. But I did reach the 36,000 mark. So at this point, I'm just seeing if I can make it to the end. <laughs> at least, I'm th I think, because at this point, I wasn't really sure if 36,000 was accurate. Like, like I said before, there's not a lot of information on these mini games, so I just went by some information and hoped it was correct, because these, this information I got came from all sorts of incomplete guides. <laughs> and here we are! The final one! Are you ready? Are you ready for the grand finale? Here it comes! The bombs are coming though! Who's gonna make it? Will it be PK Gang or will it be the bombs? It's PK Gang! Yes, I actually beat the game! <laughs> So I actually made it through and through to 100. Ah, oh, I was just on cloud nine after doing that. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I even got a double A rank. Complete with a medal, because it's even better than an A rank. Well, A rank will net you the medal, but still. <laughs> Alrighty. That is a beautiful thing. And this is what the sub games look like completed. And now, back to live commentary! <laughs> so, 249 medals out of 250. One more to go here, and it might as well be in this part because it's pretty short. Basically, we've got to get ourselves to the 150 mark. I mean, the 1,500 mark, excuse me. And I was kind of holding back information a little bit on how to maximize your distance here, so I'm going to go over it right now. Um, when you're in the air, after the dash jump, you can get more distance by mashing yourself uh, while you're in the air. And that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> I just thought I would sort of kind of keep this secret for the final, final, final thingajigger. And ah, oh! <laughs> there's the last medal. Ah, oh! <laughs> uh, my angle of attack was just a little bit too steep there. So we're gonna have to try that again. Got to get that final. Oh shoot, <laughs> that was terrible because I accidentally drew a line. Oopsie. But yeah, the angle of attack, the speed you get, the speed you get along the way, all very important. But also to increase your distance even more, gotta get the speed up. Even my line didn't draw again. <laughs> gotta get the speed going in the air. Now come on, this isn't really that hard. You see me do do well on my first attempt. Come on now, Kirby. <laughs> Well, that wasn't high enough. <laughs> Come on now. It's nice and swoopy. Nice and swoopy. Nice and swoopy. And begin. <laughs> well, that's better, I guess, but that's not swoopy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on now, this is not that difficult. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's decent. Not good enough though. <laughs> Seriously, am I gonna be stuck on this all day? This is not paint panic. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I know I said that a lot, but really, here we go. Oh, 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 that's decent. That's pretty decent. Woo! I got the last medal! Yeah! Oh, yeah! And now if we go back... Uh, actually, if we... Wait, where is... Where's the notification for this? Uh, I just want to get a notification here. Uh, um, um, wait a sec. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. I didn't, uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't see this yet. I got all the medals. Woo! Oh, yeah. Now, going all the way down, you'll notice that there is uh, something. So wait, didn't I? I thought I already unlocked this. Was it because I reloaded from 
estate rather than my last save file or something like that? Because isn't this the, the retro sounds and stuff like that? I thought, you know, the old school music type thing? Uh, yeah, um, um, I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's done. Now, getting out of here, there we go, there's the notification I was looking for. All clear, 100%! Oh, ho, ho, yeah! And now, if we go back to the uh, title screen here, we're gonna see something a little bit different here. Yep, it's bluish! And that's your other reward, actually, kind of, I guess you can call it a reward, uh, for getting 100% for having this... For beating all the odds, I guess you can say. That uh, title screen there will tell you basically, I mean, tell others that, yeah, you've mastered this game like most other people have never mastered. <laughs> now, for all those songs that I was um, unlocking in the actual Metal Swap thing, well, we actually unlock things, or say, well, you unlock songs in groups. So, uh, yeah, feel free to play through these things to your heart content, because we all know that Kirby music is sensational. <laughs> so yeah, there's a whole load of songs and sound effects that you can go through here. How many? 77 there. And yeah, that'll, that'll keep you going for a while there. <laughs> and I don't believe that I got anything else to show here. Uh, there is a training here. Uh, which is basically, you know, the whole beginning of the thing of the game all over again in case you forget that sort of thing. You can even quit it like thus, but yeah, that's there, which I didn't really mention before, I think. Main game completed. Rainbow Run completed. Sub games. Oh god, completed. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Slop got all the prizes. Oh yeah, you can even see this all over again, just because. <laughs> and you notice that you have 19 medals left over? Well, um, they're just there. <laughs> so they're like extra medals of sorts. Um, and then remember I was saying that I was going to explain to you about how to unlock this hidden song thing without... Uh, like by co connecting a Game Boy Advance Kirby game into the slot. Yeah, that, that basically triggers it just like unlocking Waddle Do. But, you know, connecting a Game Boy Advance Kirby game in the, in the slot while Kirby Canvas Curse is in doesn't really speed up the 100%ing of things because while you can get the hidden song and you know, Waddle Do, the thing is that you, you still have to beat the game with every single character, so, you know, it's just like you're going through the process of, you know, unlocking Wild Do and, and getting the extra songs, because you gotta get the medals as well, uh, for 100% completion, so the Game Boy Advance just kinda speeds up a couple of little special things, but it's not really a necessary thing for OCD 100% completion. And there we go! That is the end and man was this a tough one <laughs> I was it was just an uphill battle the whole way through from start to finish but I completed this bad boy 100% so with that I'm gonna end off the walkthrough here I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next walkthrough